everyone, my name is Mackenzie, and today we're going to read Butterfly Dreams, A Friendship Takes Flight, written and illustrated by Carol Dabney. Lily Jane lived with her grandmother, Nana, on a farm in Arkansas. Every spring, Lily Jane's favorite thing to do was sit on the fence overlooking the whole farm as butterflies filled the blue sky and painted the clouds with colorful bows. Her beagle, Ragsdale, followed her everywhere. Knowing how Lily Jane loved butterflies, Nana showed her ways to create a butterfly habitat for the monarchs. Together, they planted colorful milkweed plants in the garden and set up butterfly houses. The milkweed will be a perfect nursery where the monarch butterflies can lay their eggs, Nana said. Each day, Lily Jane eagerly checked the plants, looking closely with her binoculars. One morning, she and Nana found tiny white eggs dotting the underside of the milkweed leaves. A few days later, yellow and black caterpillars were crawling on the leaves. One looked especially intriguing. Wanting to see his spots, Lily Jane got close. Hola, señorita. ¿Cómo estás? Lily Jane jumped backward in shock. Did she really just hear a caterpillar speak? Was that Spanish? The only thing she could think to do was say something back. Hello, she giggled. I'm Lily Jane. What's your name? Me llamo Carlos. It's very nice to meet you, Carlos. How do you do? I'm awfully hungry. Carlos frowned. With one of his many legs, he rubbed his tummy. Lily Jane handed him a leaf to eat. This milkweed will keep you safe. Nana says it's poisonous to other insects that might harm you, so if you eat it, they should leave you alone. Gracias, amiga. Carlos replied. You're a good friend. Each day, Lily Jane visited Carlos. He ate and ate and grew bigger. One morning, she found Carlos crying. What's the matter? she asked. I've been watching the mariposas fly all day. He sobbed looking toward the sky. Mariposas, she repeated thoughtfully. Oh, butterflies. See, I dreamed that I grew wings and could fly too. Tears rolled down his cheek. That's a wonderful dream, Lily Jane said. But I woke up the same. Carlo sniffled. Maybe my dream is just too big. She sat him on her shoulder and climbed onto the swing. I think the size of your dream is just right. I believe you will have wings someday. As they sat in the swing under the oak tree, Lily Jane had an idea to help Carlos feel as if he were flying. She told him to hang on tight as she pumped her feet as high as she could. When the swing reached its greatest height, they could see a meadow and the river winding through the valley. They looked at each other and giggled with glee. His biggest smile would come the day she placed him atop her kite during a windstorm. When Lily Jane told Nana about her new friend, Nana laughed to herself, knowing that caterpillars don't really talk. But wanting to protect Lily Jane's heart, she just smiled and gently explained, You are right that Carlos will have wings when he becomes a butterfly, but did you know that he will migrate with the other monarchs to Mexico in the fall? Oh no, he can't go. He has to follow his instincts, Nana told her. But why? Lily Jane demanded. It's too cold here in the wintertime, and Carlos will feel himself called to where monarchs are meant to be, Nana explained. But I have heard that some can return to their birthplace in the spring. It made Lily Jane feel a little better to think that Carlos might come back. During her next visit with him, Lily Jane showed Carlos a butterfly picture book and told him what Nana had said about migrating to Mexico. What does migrate mean? Carlos asked. To travel a long way. This book says it's over 2,000 miles from where we are in Arkansas to where you'll fly in Mexico. Carlos didn't believe it was possible. I'm trying to grow mariposa wings, but no matter how much I eat, I only grow more legs. He sighed as he looked down and counted his legs. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I'm hopeless. Lily Jane couldn't manage to cheer him up. The next day, Lily Jane found Carlos wrapped up inside a little green blanket. 
She could feel his sadness. As it began to rain, it seemed the whole world was crying. Are you okay? She worry whispered into the blanket folds. From inside, Carlo spoke faintly. I'm trapped more than ever. I can't move. Do you think I'll ever be able to fly? Lily Jane didn't know what to say. Her eyes brimmed with tears as she ran to tell Nana. Nana held Lily Jane on her lap, comforting her. Not to worry, dear. Carlos is in his chrysalis. Nana explained. A miraculous change is taking place. Soon, Carlos will be the beautiful butterfly that he always wanted to be. We all become what we are meant to be in God's timing when we believe. But sometimes it is hard to believe, and we need help from those around us. Lily Jane returned to reassure Carlos that things were going to be okay, encouraging him through the hardening walls of the chrysalis to dig deep inside himself for patience and faith. Little by little, his green blanket transformed into a clear shell. Through it, Lily Jane could see orange stripes and white spots. Every day, she returned to talk with Carlos and see if any changes had occurred. Three weeks later, Carlos began to strain this way and that as his cocoon shifted back and forth. Lily Jane's heart pounded with excitement as his legs peeked out of the shell. Then with one last big stretch and a grunt, his beautiful orange wings burst through. Mariposa wings, Carlos announced proudly, admiring his left wing, then his right. I am changed. Metamorphosis, Lily exclaimed. Meta who? Nana says it means to transform. You've changed a lot since we met. Lily Jane smiled. First you were an egg, then a caterpillar, then you were wrapped in a chrysalis blanket. Now you are a beautiful monarch butterfly. Carlos counted his stages thoughtfully. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Mariposa miracle. Carlos winked at Lily Jane and fluttered high into the sky. Oh, I can see everything. Then he fluttered gracefully back, landing on her hand. This time, she winked back at him and said, Your dream is coming true, mi amigo. For the rest of the summer, Lily Jane and Carlos raced around the farm. Then the days became cooler. When Lily Jane sat on the fence, there were fewer and fewer monarchs painting the sky. Finally, Carlos was the last one. He had stayed as long as he could, but their last day together had come. Adios, mi amiga, he whispered in her ear. He felt sad about leaving, but was becoming more excited about his journey to the land where his parents met. He knew he would find new friends there, but doubted any of them would believe in him like Lily Jane had. Feeling his wings move softly against her hair, Lily Jane looked down, not wanting Carlos to see her tears. As he rose higher in the sky, Carlos waved goodbye with his wing. Lily Jane waved back as they grew farther apart. She sang a sweet song to comfort herself and watched until he disappeared into the sky. With big tears in her eyes, she ran home and hugged Nana, asking, do you think I'll ever see Carlos again? Maybe my dream is just too big. Oh, my dear Lily Jane. Nana reassured her. I think the size of your dream is just right.